Okay, so according to my analytics, only 50% of you actually watch the intros, so let's fucking do it. Never heard this band before. I do know they're progressive metal. Well, it's 13 minutes. Getting like a tool vibe here. this build up it's like tension hopefully that's a great execution to the next part This is one of those bands that you just need to see live and just experience it, right? That's a perfect harmony right there. I love the effect on the guitar.
the strip. Reminds me of BT Dab a little bit. like a post rock feel I guess post metal oh, I love that synth I'm getting the impression that these guys are masters of build up Slowed it down again.
That's my experience with the ocean. Okay. So now time to the review portion. And I know this is where 25% of my audience actually sticks around. But anyway, so I like that. And I got strong Tool vibes from this. And actually, I'm going to say something negative about Tool. I know Tool's a band that you can never, ever criticize because the fan base is crazy. But however, with that band, the reason why I'm not crazy about them is that their buildups are insanely good. However, their climax is, it's not enough of a payoff, and I always feel like I'm blue-balled by that band. And that's why I can't really enjoy their music, because the build-ups are so good, but then the payoffs, no. Uh, but with this, holy shit, the build-ups and the constant tension of their same repeating, like, riffs and, like, melodies until it just climaxes into this, like, rapid drumming and, like, uh, harsh vocals with, like, this clean atmospheric vocal underlying it, too. Like, it's just so dense in atmosphere but the climaxes are really good here i did notice that the song felt like 13 minutes and if you've watched my other prog reactions where i talk about like a good prog song you can't even tell how long it is this felt like 13 minutes and i needed to delve more into the band but i think the reasoning why it did that for me was the constant like climax to slower section to climax to slower section to climax to slower section and i think the song could have ended probably around nine or ten minutes after like a certain point when the drumming just got crazy intense and the riffage like i couldn't even make out the notes or anything on the guitar or what was happening in the drumming because everything was just a wall of sound at that point i'm like whoa this is cool but then it slowed it down and then it gave me another climax i'm like okay this is sick too but at the same time like I don't know, the song could have ended right there for me and I would have been really satisfied. It kind of dragged on a little bit, but I understand the appeal to this because it's atmospheric. It's like that post-metal feel where it's kind of like densed in atmosphere and it's a bit slower pace, almost kind of like sludge metal too. And I understand the appeal to that. Maybe I just have short attention span, but but definitely like this song because like on the channel, I don't do too much. Um, I wouldn't say this is slow by any means, but I mean, like, since I do a lot of core on the channel, and core comes from hardcore, which is, like, very upbeat tempo. This seems to be slower and just sludgier and heavier and atmospheric and just kind of drawn out because it's for that experience. So I totally appreciated it. I think, like I said, I just wish the song could have ended at 10 minutes for me and it would have been perfect. But some of the things I really liked were the vocals. The vocals were really good. I liked the inclusion of harsh vocals because it's... If this song just had clean vocals, I don't think I would have liked it as much because when it got really intense with the heavy, heavy drop tune guitars, you needed some sort of harsh vocals, and I'm glad there are harsh vocals in this band. The song was really good, and I'm glad that I finally checked it out, and holy shit, I think the MVP was the drummer. Well, actually, no, the atmospheric sections were really cool too. I really like the slower sections with the synths that are constantly building up the repeating riff like I like that because say for example a band like Periphery where their riffage kind of goes all over the place for like I don't know 
14 bars that are always doing something different before it repeats itself. Here, like, I like it where they just kept repeating the same riff and it just kept on going and builds that tension. I like that a little bit more and I think that's a good way to do a build up and then to their climax, which are really good. That was uh, my first experience with the ocean. I know they've been around for a while, but I finally checked out their music, so I'm curious. What do you guys think? So let me know in the comments down below. Spice up my life. I want to know what you thought of this track or the other ocean tracks that I should be checking out. Um, that could be up to more my speed, even though I did like this, but maybe something different to show off a different side of the band. Yeah, how about that? But on that, thank you for tuning in. Till next time. Peace.